Hey y'all, I wanted to take a minute to discuss the difference between RCP and an RCS file in Recap Pro. What the difference between them, maybe which one's the best one to use, and uh, basically how to, how to understand uh, how the structure plays with Recap. So today's agenda, RCS versus RCP. So an RCS file is the, are the scan files that contain the actual spatially indexed point cloud data. So the RCS is really the data that is like a, of your point cloud. So if you've, uh, if you ever worked with like InfoWorks, it's got that head file and then it's got that dot files folder. The think of the RCS as the dot files folder. It contains all the data. And then RCP, these are the recap, uh, the project files, uh, recap project RCP. Um, and they point to a number of RCS files. So every scan location is an RCS file after it's been registered in recap. And so this contains additional information such as scan regions, recorded distances, and annotations. So let's go ahead and let's just crack a couple files open. Let's, uh, let's create a project. Let's export the things out and talk about RCS and RCP. So Recap here, I'm using 2023, but this is a age old thing for the file structure. So what we're gonna do is let's just take a look at this. Uh, we're gonna look at this recap sample project. It's got two scans, very small project. You have it on your machine if you have recap installed, so you can, you can play with this as well. It's in your program data. So this is the RCP right here, and then this is the support folder. So the RCP is that recap project, and then it has that corresponding support folder, which has all the data within it. So if we go ahead here, let's just make this a little bigger. Let's go into the support folder. So the support folder contains a few different things. So, but what you'll see here is it contains an RCS here and an RCS here. So those two RCSs are the scan locations. So let's go ahead and let's open up the RCP now, which looks at the RCS files. So let's go ahead and minimize this right here, minimize that. Okay, let's go ahead and open. Let's go to that same folder, this bit folder. We're gonna open this RCP. So this is the RCP file right here. You can see we have two scan locations. We can go into the real views if we want to. And you can see here's our scans, two scans. And this would be, you know, this is one of the RCS, all the point cloud data. If you go into that 3D view, it's this is what it's gonna be looking at for that RCS file. And if we go back to the real view, this would be the other scan location here. Okay, so easy enough, RCP versus RCS. Now, there's two things you can, a couple different things you can do to manipulate RCSs and RCPs. So let's go back, let's bounce out of this project here. Well, actually, let's take one more thing at this project. So you have this button right here. This is your tripod location. So this is taking you back to the registration. So if you want to go back and re-register things, you can go back. So for example, for this project, it should go fairly quickly. It can be a little bit slower if you have 50 or 100 scans. And it's taking me back to the registration because I can see the real views. When you can see the real views and you have those mirror balls, that means you have a structured scan and you can register things. So if we wanted to register things, if we wanted to register things, you know, have a make it better, this is where we would do it. All right, so let's go back to our project here. Return to project and let's go to the home tab here. Okay, so now we're gonna create a new project. So import point cloud and we'll just call this new project three let's throw it in my downloads folder select files to import and let's go to downloads vid right here we're going to go into that support folder with those rcs files right here we're going to grab both these rcs files so we're building a rcp project recap project from the rcs files so we open these up you can see here's our two scans we're going to say skip registration because we've already done it so skip registration. And now you can see we're loading the project and we've basically rebuilt the project with those RCS files. You can see we go back to registration if we wanted to and we're still seeing those mirror balls. So we still have the that, that structured um, registerable data. So if we go back in here, we can see that we are now in that real view. So we basically just did a full loop, uh, rebuilding it with the RCS to create an RCP. Now, exporting RCSs versus RCPs. So that's gonna unify your point cloud. So let's go ahead and let's do both. So we go over here, home, right here, this export or import, export button right here. And we're gonna select that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this to the that folder and we're gonna call this RCP export, save. 
And you have to unify on export. There's no option to not to um to, to not unify. And unify basically means is we are gonna get rid of these scan locations. It's gonna be one unified point cloud. So we say unify, and now it's gonna export our project. So next we're gonna do the same exact thing we just did. We're gonna export an RCS. And we're just gonna take a look at what the difference between those two is. Okay, exporting, 93, okay, there we go. All right, home tab again, go to this button, export, and we're gonna select RCS right here. Let's call this RCS, export. And we'll save this now. Let's go, unify. Okay, so let's go into that folder again. And you're gonna see we have a couple different things here. Okay, we need to wait for this export to go. Wait for that temp folder. That temp folder to go. Okay, so back in that folder, this is where we kicked out that the, that RCP export and RCS export. So you can see here with the RCS with the RCP export right here, it brings a support folder with it. And if you open up the support folder, it's got that RCS file. So if you think 172 meg right there. We're going to be 172 meg right here. So the it basically just kicks it out as a recap project or an RCS. And so one and the other, there's nothing wrong with each of them. And uh, if you were to move things around, so to speak, it'd probably be easier to move around an RCS export uh, because you don't have a folder you need to move to. So like if you're to upload it or share it with a colleague, it might be easier to you know just share the RCS. And if you want to create the RCP from it, you can with that other computer if it has recap installed. So if we go, now let's open up these two. Let's just see what they look like. So same thing, we go to home tab here and let's go to open. Okay, don't save. So RCP export. So you notice the RCS isn't there. It's because we can't open up an RCS file with recap. That's, uh, you need to create a recap project and import in the RCS to open it. So we go ahead and open it right here. And what you'll notice when we get into this, is that home tab, we don't have that tripod, that registration button. And that's because it's a unified point cloud now. So we can't go back and re-register things. It's more of a, it's like exporting out a static data. So this is, you know, we're done. We like what we see. Now let's kick it out as one unified unit. So if we go in here and we, if we go into our point cloud, you can see there's a little circle there, but the real views aren't here anymore. So we can't select the real views and get into it that's you now that's that unified point cloud so let's go uh, let's open up that rcs file quickly in home tab so because we can't open up an rcs we're going to create a new project and import in that rcs new project import point cloud don't save any changes we'll just leave it that default name new project four and here we go so we're gonna import in that rcs right here rcs export Right here, launch project. You notice it doesn't say, do you want to register? It's because there's nothing to register because it's all one unit now. So launch project right here. And then you can see same exact thing we were just looking at with that RCP. And you can see there's no mirror balls here. It's that uh, unified point cloud data. And then if we go into our downloads here, let's go open up that new project four. Let's go find that support folder. You open this up. And there should be an RCS. Oh, looks like it hasn't made the RCS. So, um, and it's got those BK1, BK2 files. So, a couple different things to think about here. So, they're really not that much different than each other. It's just one and the other. One's really the recap. Well, one's the project and one's the RCS. The RCS really contains the point cloud data. You can bring them both into, you know, those uh, sometimes recaps used as a vessel to get that RCP, RCS file. And you can bring either of them into Revit, AutoCAD if you wanted to. So just keep in mind that with the export though, there's the RCP is going to carry a support folder with it. So there's, only, you know, there's two things to move versus the RCS is just that one singular RCS file. So a couple, a couple things to think about. Hopefully this helps you understand how they work. And uh, thank you for your time.